Imagine moving 26 and a half million cubic feet of dirt without the aid of machines, domesticated animals, or even wheelbarrows. Now picture a place where this staggering feat was accomplished over 3,200 years ago. This is the story of Poverty Point, an enormous earthen monument built in what is now northern Louisiana by hunter-gatherers. Poverty Point is a marvel, not just because of its age, but because of its sheer size. The site consists of concentric ridges and several large mounds, all of which were created by moving an astounding volume of earth. The most impressive of these mounds, known as Mound A, stretches across 538,000 square feet at its base and rises 72 feet above the Mississippi River. If it were built today, it would take a 10-wheel dump truck more than 30,000 loads to move the estimated 8.4 million cubic feet of dirt that make up the mound. But how did hunter-gatherers accomplish such a feat without modern tools or technology? The answer lies in an ingenious system known as the Bucket Brigade. Thousands of labourers would pass soil from one to another using crude containers such as woven baskets, hide sacks or wooden platters. This simple yet effective method of moving earth allowed the people of Poverty Point to construct their monumental structures. The enormity of Poverty Point is a testament to the determination and ingenuity of our ancestors, a monument to human endeavour that has stood the test of time. Despite the challenges they faced, these ancient people were able to organise themselves into large groups, coordinate their efforts and create something truly astonishing. Their achievement challenges our preconceptions about pre-agricultural societies and reminds us of the remarkable capabilities of the human spirit. So the next time you find yourself facing a seemingly insurmountable task, remember Poverty Point and the hunter-gatherers who moved mountains with nothing but their bare hands and a few simple tools. The discovery of Poverty Point has been a treasure trove for archaeologists, offering a unique glimpse into the lives of prehistoric Native Americans. The vast monument of earthen ridges and mounds nestled on a bayou of the Mississippi River is a testament to the impressive engineering skills of hunter-gatherer societies over 3,000 years ago. One of the most striking features of Poverty Point is Mound A. This colossal structure stretches across 538,000 square feet at its base and rises 72 feet above the Mississippi River. But the sheer size of Mound A is not the only thing that has piqued the interest of researchers. The real mystery lies beneath the surface. Archaeologists, while excavating parts of Poverty Point, analysed core samplings and sediments from Mound A. They found that the soil in these mounds showed no sign of erosion. Even more intriguing was the absence of traces of rainfall during the construction phase of the mound. This discovery suggests that Mound A was likely built in fewer than 90 days. Now you might be thinking, but how is this possible? Even in a very dry year, it would seem unlikely that this location in northern Louisiana could go more than 90 days without experiencing some significant level of rainfall. And yet, there's no sign of erosion in the mound soil, nor is there any evidence of an epic drought during the construction period. This remarkable finding led researchers to believe that Mound A was built by thousands of Native American laborers using a simple bucket brigade system. Imagine this. Thousands of people passing soil along from one to another using crude containers like woven baskets or hide sacks. A truly monumental feat of cooperation and endurance. The construction of Mound A, a remarkable engineering achievement, challenges our preconceptions about the capabilities of hunter-gatherer societies. It's a stark reminder that even without the help of modern tools and technology, the human spirit of ingenuity and determination can achieve great things. Scene script. Who were the people who undertook this colossal project? Let's delve into the lives of the individuals who built Poverty Point. The enormity of Mound A at Poverty Point is a testament to the astonishing efforts of its builders. Researchers estimate that to complete such an immense project in under 90 days, it would have required the labor of approximately 3,000 individuals. Imagine the scene. 3,000 labourers working diligently, passing buckets of soil in a human chain, a veritable bucket brigade. Each person a critical link in this monumental endeavour. 
In a society of hunter-gatherers, where a band of 25 to 30 people is considered large, this feat is nothing short of extraordinary. But the workforce gives us only a slice of the picture. If we consider that these laborers may have been accompanied by their families, the numbers multiply. This suggests that Poverty Point could have been a gathering place for up to 10,000 individuals. Think about that for a moment. 10,000 people in a hunter-gatherer society coming together to create something monumental. This scale of organization is astonishing, even more so when you consider the lack of modern tools or machinery. No draft animals, no wheelbarrows, no machinery. Just the collective will of a group of people and their simple yet effective bucket brigade system. The construction of Poverty Point challenges many of our preconceptions about pre-agricultural societies. It provides compelling evidence that these societies were far from simple. They were capable of organizing large-scale projects, of building elaborate architecture, and of sustaining large populations. They were societies of complexity, both socially and politically. The people behind Poverty Point were not just builders, they were innovators, organizers, and a community united in a common purpose. They were a society that, despite the limitations of their era, achieved something truly remarkable. Poverty Point stands as a testament to the organizational capabilities and social complexity of pre-agricultural societies. Poverty Point is more than just a monument to ancient engineering. It is a symbol of the cultural richness and complexity of prehistoric Native American societies. This enormous earthen monument built on a Mississippi River bayou over 3,000 years ago is not just an impressive feat of engineering. It is a testament to the capabilities, the organization, and the vision of our ancestors. Poverty Point stands as a beacon, signaling to us across the ages a tale of a civilization that was far from primitive. This site, which is now in the running to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site, paints a picture of a society that was advanced in ways we're only beginning to understand. The artifacts discovered here tell a story of a society that was heavily involved in trade. Items excavated from the site have origins as far away as the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys and the Appalachian Mountains of Alabama and Georgia. These findings suggest that the Poverty Point civilization was not isolated, but rather was a part of a vast network of trade and exchange. These discoveries challenge the common notion that pre-agricultural societies were simple or primitive. The people of Poverty Point were not just hunter-gatherers. They were engineers, traders and visionaries. They were able to organize themselves into large groups capable of undertaking monumental projects like the construction of Poverty Point. The legacy of Poverty Point is one of cultural richness, complexity and accomplishment. It serves as a reminder that our ancestors were far more advanced than we often give them credit for. They were capable of incredible feats of engineering, even without the tools and technologies that we take for granted today. To look upon Poverty Point is to see a reflection of the past, a glimpse into the world of our ancestors, and a testament to the enduring capabilities of mankind. Poverty Point, a marvel of ancient engineering, is a testament to the capabilities of our ancestors and a symbol of the rich cultural history of pre-agricultural societies. Our understanding of Poverty Point and the people who built it continues to evolve as researchers make new discoveries. One of the most recent and astounding findings relates to Mound A, the last addition to Poverty Point's landscape. Remarkably, researchers have found no traces of rainfall or erosion during its construction phase. In an area known for experiencing significant rainfall, this suggests that Mound A likely took shape in fewer than 90 days. This defies our understanding of what would have been possible for a pre-agricultural society without sophisticated tools or access to domesticated draft animals. Imagine this, thousands of Native American laborers moving an estimated 8.4 million cubic feet of dirt using nothing but crude containers like woven baskets, hide sacks or wooden platters. This bucket brigade system would have required about 3,000 labourers, suggesting that nearly 10,000 people may have convened at Poverty Point for this ambitious project. 
The sheer scale of this effort contradicts the notion that pre-agricultural societies were simple and unable to organize themselves into large groups for complex projects. It's a testament to their ingenuity, resilience and social organization. However, the story of Poverty Point doesn't end there. Archaeologists continue their work at the site, unearthing artifacts from as far afield as the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys and the Appalachians of Alabama and Georgia. These findings hint at the vast trade networks of the Poverty Point civilization, adding another layer to our understanding of this remarkable society. Poverty Point's significance has not gone unnoticed. The site has been nominated to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to its cultural importance and contribution to our understanding of human history. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Poverty Point, we gain not only a deeper understanding of our past, but also a greater appreciation for the capabilities and achievements of pre-agricultural societies. This ancient society, with its astonishing engineering feats and complex social organization, continues to challenge and inspire us. Their legacy is a reminder of the rich tapestry of human history and the incredible potential of human ingenuity.